Okay, we're back to Mary K. Moose Math. And each of these studies is going to be very short. We're going to take them subject by subject. Today we're going to look at morning. I don't mean morning as the sun coming up, I mean as in death and sadness. And this is a particular trait of Tammuz, Nimunzai, Adonis, and all that we have studied. During the month of midsummer, bearing his name, and we, we saw last time that there is a month of, in the Arabic and even Jewish calendar, the month of Tammuz. Isn't that interesting? The mid midsummer bearing his name, people all across a, across Mesopotamia would engage in pivotal, public ritual mourning for him. They get sad. A god that died. The entire area of people across Mesopotamia and not many got sad when Jesus died. Not a whole region. Matter of fact, the Jews and the Roman government were pleased. The disciples were in fear. There are more people ready for the Antichrist than the real Christ. During the month of uh, 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 Inunzai, or Tammuz, which fell in the middle of the summer, people across summer, S-U-M-E-R, would mourn over his death. You say, Styla, you just read the same thing. No, I said during the month, during the month of midsummer, bearing his name, that's Tamu. People across Mesopotamia would engage in public ritual mourning for him. During the month of Demu in Imunzai, which fell midsummer, people across summer would mourn his death. In Mumzai and Tammuz is the same character, just a different name. He's under an alias. You know, we don't mourn for Jesus Christ. He's, he's alive. Yeah, he died three days and three nights according to scriptures. He came up out of that grave. During the 6th century AD, some early Christians, and Middle East borrowed elements from poems of Istar, Easter, Easter. I mean, you do remember Easter in disguise. Check our check out our web page and find all this. Christians in, in the Middle East borrowed elements from poems of Istar. Mourning the death of Tammuz into their own retellings of the Virgin Mary, mourning over the death of her son Jesus. That's Catholic. The Catholics have stolen poems of Istar and related to the Virgin Mary weeping over her son Jesus that died. It came from his star. And your church is going to have a star, a star, a pagan holiday. Mary Tammuz Mass is Christmas. I'm doing these studies that you get rid of Easter and Christmas. I'm showing you that they are pagan origin of Fallen gods. But many Christians won't. The Syrian writers, Jacob of Serg, S-E-R-U-G-H, and Romeos, M-O-M-A-N-O-S, the Melodist, both wrote laments in which the Virgin Mary describes her compassion for her son at the foot of the cross in deeply personal terms, 
closely resembling Estar's lament over the death of Tammuz. There we go. We have now the Catholic Church, what they, what the world calls Christianity. We have it, marriage of Istar, a poor Mary weeping for her child using Estar's poem for the death of Tammuz or the death of Inunzai. And we've got much more to study about him. And we, we, we studied, we've done on him. Who he was, the Bible, resurrection, where, what, Adonis, when. Check out our website, the link will be with. And go to find where you'll find uh, Eastern Disguise and Mary Tamu's dad. Uh, tab and listen to it all of rituals related to Tamu in his time. He adds that the Sabaeans in Haram and ba excuse me, Babylonia, Babylon, Babylon. If you've never read Babylon Mystery Babylon, you need to you need to get it and read it. You never read the two Babylons. You need to get it. If your pastor has never read Babylon, Mystery Babylon, if your pastor has never read two Babylon, he has no business in the pulpit. Especially if he celebrates Easter and Christmas. I've read both books. And I believe I've taken a test for my doctorate to be Dr. Sally William Hayward. I've taken two tests on, uh, as a course study of Babylon, Mystery Babylon, and Hyssop's to Babylon. Babylonians still lament the loss of Tammuz every July, but the origin of the worship has been lost. They can't, but we have Mesopotamia, we have summer, we have the Catholics, we have Babylonia, we have Tamu, we have Imizai, we have Estar. Do you see why I called the previous study Easter in Disguise? And do you see why I'm calling this one? Mary Timu's mask. By the way, also on our webpage, you go to our webpage to, um, I think it's called download. The download tab, I think it is. You can download these documents and more. And you can print them out with Word documents. Or you can uh, uh, make it Adobe. But you can print these out free of charge. And when you print out and get Mary Tamu's mask, you're going to get a full page of all the people who know what they're talking about. And their book. And the international book number. And the copyrights. And the page number. In the 10th century AD, the rape the Arab traveler, Al Nadin, A L D N A D I M, wrote in his, I'm going to spell it, C I T A B A L F E H R E S T, quote, that all Sabines of our time, those of Babylonia, as well as those of Haran, lament the week to this day over Tamu at the festival which they, who, par who particularly the women, we're going to come up with the women soon, hold in the month of the same name. Same name, Demuzai or Imuzai, 
or Temu. You do know that the Arabian are of Ishmael, the son of bondage that God said cast out. You do know that the worldly Christians that call themselves Christians is the perverted Catholic Church mystery Babylon. You do know that you're going to have any foundation in your church that comes out of Babylonia. You are in paganism. You are against God. And even more so if your feast your celebration also tie in with the Catholic Church. That there is a time of the month that this God that has died, and we, we, we talked about it, we'll talk about it more, and in, in regions, there's a mourning. And we mentioned women. Now, next study we're going to do will be Istar. We got a few things to say about Istar. Then we got Inanna. We're done today. That's it. Six points. Short enough for you to go back and get the other ones and listen to. This stuff is paganism. It's not proof of God. It ought not to be in your church. But we got a free will. You do what you will. We'll all appear before the judgment seat of Christ. 